what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here it looks like when screen 5 debuts sometime next year that it'll quickly release on vod shortly after that um it seems like paramount is going to try to do a different i gonna try a different route when it comes to their theatrical releases over the course of this coming year this was revealed during a recent uh conference call that was had and it looks like they're going to do this with their entire 2021 slate and they shared this during again a conference call that they recently had we know we have paramount plus coming out i think this week actually on march 5th or 6th and this is where a lot of their films that are going to be released in theaters are going to go to shortly after this short new uh theatrical window that they're trying to aim for this is where they're going to go they're going to go right to uh paramount plus so it says here briefly in this little snippet from the article after 45 days new paramount theatrical films will land on the budding streaming service paramount plus currently mission impossible 7 is scheduled to release in theaters november 19th and a quiet place part 2 is set for september 17th so the slate of films that they have for 2021 it looks like this is where they'll be headed 45 days after that they will be going to paramount plus this of course is being done to get people interested in signing up for paramount plus you know there's many people who still don't even want to go out to the theater i saw tom and jerry recently did like 12 million dollars at the box office so that's very good but 45 day theatrical window and given that i just said what tom and jerry had tom and jerry doing 12 million dollars during this that's impressive because now i can't wait to see what fast and furious does and then that'll just get me more and more excited to think about what could happen when Ghostface gets to return on screen next year in January. So we know that there is going to be that theatrical window for screen five and it's going to go right to Paramount Plus shortly after. That's a possibility if because depending on how this depending on how the 2021 uh, release goes for what they want to do with these slate of films that will determine whether or not it builds on into their 2022 slate, which I think is going to be the case. So that's pretty good. Pretty I think that's a clever thing to do during all of this because, you know, Universal has that deal with AMC where for, I think 14 days, correct me if I'm wrong, they have a window as well where their films are in theaters for a certain amount of time. Then they can put them on VOD shortly after. We know we saw that happen with Freaky recently. So I can't wait to see what happens with the Paramount films. A Quiet Place is definitely a film I'm looking forward to. I will, regardless of whether or not I get a screener sent to me or whether I actually get to see it in theaters. I will be seeing Screen 5 in theaters. It doesn't matter whether I see it at home first. I'm going to see this movie in theaters. If I'm able to, I will be seeing it in theaters. I probably am planning to see this movie multiple times anyway, just because I've seen the others multiple times, and I want to study this one just as I did the other films. So this window that they're trying to work with, the 45 days, that could be pretty good. And depending on how that works out with the films that they're planning to release this year, we'll see if that bleeds into 2022 and if it'll affect the uh, Scream project that's supposed to come out next year too, which I think it will. I think ultimately this is gonna be the business model they wanna stick to, so it'll be announced that it's affecting the 2022 slate as well. If they already said it would affect the 2022 slate, go ahead and correct me, because all I saw was 2021. And I think they're gonna use this as a, just as like a a test of course because they have to do it first to see what happens and of course they're just trying to get subscribers for paramount plus and putting screen five on paramount plus 45 days after its release uh that's a big property to put on your streaming service in my opinion i think the screen franchise is a very big property uh given its success and the impact it's had that should surge subscribers depending on who's paying attention but whatever the other thing that i want to talk about as you saw in this thumbnail reshoots uh i saw people talking about reshoots that should be taking place for screen five sometime this next coming month uh nothing out of the ordinary here i think the other films went through this it's common for most films to have reshoots and they're trying to maybe what's happened because as what was revealed during one of the other interviews the filmmakers had with someone who was giving a, a question and answer about what they were planning and what the process was in post-production they said that they were going to be seeing the film sometime in late february so maybe paramount has seen it now but there's some things they want to have retweaked they want to add in some things i know i've seen people speculating i'm going to get into that shortly uh they could just be wanting to tweak some things that are already there add things that were not there before of course uh it says here on imdb this is not official anyone can put this on imdb imdb can be changed by any, anyone and any any person it says this would happen from this should last till march 15th of this month of this year 
because uh, March is tomorrow. But this doesn't necessarily mean this is going to occur. If, if they're doing reshoots, then they're doing reshoots. Now, I've already seen the speculation. This could be adding in those Kirby scenes that many of us are still hoping for. Hannah Pantier was spotted at the uh, airport a few months back. She looked lovely. Uh, lovely as ever, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I want Kirby back. I want Kirby to be involved in this film. I kind of am just being more chill with the fact that we're at least getting a film that's a follow-up. I'm more so concerned with that than just Kirby being back. I just want a good film. If Hayden Pantier is back and they reached out to her, that's a good thing. They did recently start following her. The filmmaker started following her on her social medias, her Instagram page. I think they also followed her on Twitter. So all good signs that they have made contact. And if she wants to be in it, she'll be in it, I guess, if they've reached out to her for participation in the film. That doesn't mean that these reshoots could be for Kirby. These could be for anything. Like I said, this could be to go back and reshoot a certain thing that the studio does not approve of. Or maybe there's something that just needed to be reshot in a different manner. Uh, after some consideration from them reviewing the edit that they saw later in February. So it doesn't necessarily have to be Kirby. It doesn't mean it's not Kirby. Because another thing I want to say about this whole Kirby thing, whatever's happening with reshoots, if it's true, the reshoots very well again could just be they're reshooting what has already been done. It has nothing to do with Kirby. Now, if these reshoots have nothing to do with Kirby, that does not mean Kirby is not in this film. Film crews can travel to actors and actresses if pop if it's necessary and if they're willing to i believe they will do that hayden pantier does not have to be on the set of this film to be in the film the crew could go to her wherever she is if that's what she is comfortable with if that's what their arrangement were if they want her if you want someone in your film bad enough i believe they'll travel to her so just because we haven't seen anything of her on set there's several people that we had not seen on set we weren't supposed to see heather morazzo on set definitely but that's in the past Several people could be in this movie that we have not seen on set. And that's not to say that just because they weren't on set that they weren't shot for things for the movie. The crew could have gone to them. Just keep that in mind. She could still be in it. And these reshoots could just be for other things. But I just want to share my thoughts and let you guys know about that. And the fact that Scream, yes, could be going to VOD shortly after it's released. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification at never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can go ahead and message me there. So let me know if there's any more movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And down in the comment section, I'm going to leave a, face, leave a link to the Facebook group. Please join that. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.